What's up, YouTube? Infected Zena here, coming at you guys with my go, 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 go deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys can, leave a like rating down below because it's awesome that you guys do. Um, I'm kind of sick, so mind that. So, no one knows what this deck does, but I fucking love this deck. It's so awesome. So, if you guys have any cards you guys want to give me from this deck, feel free so I can innovate it and show you guys your life deck profiles and all that good stuff and top regionals. And if I get this deck before Nats, I'll take this deck to Nats. Like, I'm not even joking. But whatever. So two go 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 ghosts. If this card is special summon, you can target one go 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 golem in your graveyard. Special summon that target in defense position. Then change this card to defense position. So there's lots of ways to special summon him to get his effect. There's uh two book of lives. There's three Mizukis. There's um two zombie masters. There's lots of ways to um bring him out. So his effect should never really be dead. And then I play three go 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 giants. Um once per turn you can. Well, when this card is normal summon, you can switch it to defense position. Sorry about the lag. Um, and if it would ever show up on screen, that'd be beautiful and like perfect, like all my subscribers. But uh, I don't think it's gonna do that. Okay, there you go. Uh, when this card is normal summon, target one go go monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target in face of defense position. Then change this card to defense position. If this card is if this card attacks, it just changes the defense position. So he brings instant exceeds and his level is zero defense, which is going to be very, 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 very key. Then we play two Go 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 Golems, who's pretty much useless except for the fact that he gets revived with Ghost. But I play two and two. You can bump up Ghost to three, but I like two and two. Then two Do 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 Busters. Um, he's like the Ghostbusters kind of thing of the deck. Um, that's what I like to think of him as. If your opponent controls a monster and you control none, special summon it from your hand. He's a 1900 beat stick, and when he special summon this way, his level becomes 4. And normal summoning effect is useless, but that's what matters about him. The best card of the deck, 3 Mouse Chameleons. Um, you should know what this card does. Um, when it cannot be normal summon if you control a level 5 or higher monster, when this card is normal summon. You can target one monster with zero defense in your graveyard. Special summon that target in face of defense position. Its effects are negated, and you cannot special summon any monsters except from the extra deck during the turn you activate this effect. Um, pretty good, pretty good. Considering Ghost is zero, Giant is zero, Zombie Master is zero defense. So that's your targets. Three Mizukis. You should know what this does. You can banish this card from your graveyard to target one Zombie Monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Special summon Go. Special summon Giant Golem. Really awesome. Zombie Master again. Just ditch dead cards in your hand. Like Zephros or something that you want to have in Graveyard. And Special Summoning Ghost. Special Summoning Golem. Awesome place. Dark Arm, very easy to manipulate in this deck. Um, not, sh not much will be said about this card, just that it steals games. Zephros, same thing. It helps bounce back your Dead Fiend the Chains, and it's a Dark. So then we play Foolish Burial, because it helps beat up your Graveyard, like Golem and Ghost and Mizukis. Two lands so your monsters can stake like Dark Arm and your extra deck cards. Three space to hit through back row and OTK and do field presence and all that beautiful things that MSTs do. Dark Hole to kill your field and win games. Um, Book of Moon for the same thing. Two Onomato Pyro, which is a really cool tech. Uh, send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Add up to, two of the add up to two of the following cards from your deck to your hands. Meaning, you don't have to add up to two. You don't have to add two. You can just add one. But only one from each. And you can only activate one per turn. Add Zubaba, Gaga, Gaga, Go, Go, or Dodo, Do. So pretty much to maximize, you want to search out Dodo, Do, Buster, and something else. Essentially, Giant. So you can go Special Dodo, Do, Buster, Normal Summon, Giant, Giant Effect, Special Summon, something else, and make a level 3, 4 XEs. 2 Book of Life, of course. Special Summon, a Zombie from your Graveyard, and Banishing a card from your opponent's Graveyard is both really key. And, um... Banishing like Hornet or something from Insectors or something that they really need like maybe they only have one spellcaster in Graveyard for prophecy and you're just gonna destroy them by activating this so it's a very good card do recommend it and then traps is just standard bottomless compulse uh, Three fiendish chain bounce back the dead ones Zephros two mirror force great against Bujins Warning um, and torrential good against Bujins as well except maybe not so much now that hair is out our side deck is just random, so I'm not really going to go into that. If you like it, leave it. If not, then don't. Crimson Blade are good against Heretic Rulers and Mermails. It really, honestly, just summoning this card and activating, resolving it against Mermails, setting like 3 back row is great. Uh, Scrap Dragon is just a generically good. Stardust when you have to protect more than one monster. And Spark when he's the only one out there. Um, Colossal Fighter because it's great against Bujins and it's your answer to Bujins in your extra deck. And then just rank four is generically good. Abyss Dweller, good against Mermails and a bunch of stuff. Dire Wolf removal. 
Cowboy, last second, pow pow, GG, if you will. A Lavalvo Chain, set up your graveyard, set up all your key stuff. King of the Feral M, search out your mask chameleons, and it's a dark. Maystroke um, is just what it does. Extinction Knight, which is cool and helps you win games by itself, and Shark and Knight, the same thing. Vylon the Sigma and Evil Storm Ouroboros as your three level four monsters. You get to them easily and they're really, really good, especially when you have Lance and Backward to protect them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like rating, comment it down below, and share this video with all your friends to show them the power of Go Go Go's. If you are questioning the power of Go Go Go's, make sure to click on my channel and look at the speed duel videos that I have up there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Infect is in and out. Have a good one, guys. Peace.